Hey. <sighs> what are you doing? Are you following me? No, no. you're following I me. I am following you. What's that? You tell me. <laughs> well, I was about to make some delicious potato buns. Yummy. Seth's mom has made these for years and introduced me to them when I started dating him and they're a delicious treat. Today is cold and rainy and windy so we're just gonna be cozy and have some homemade potato buns and soup for supper. So I'm gonna get started on them. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first step. I just want you people to know, she's not as perfect as you think. I'm not perfect at all. Never Even though she it. says all the time, I'm so perfect. Never claim to be perfect. What'd you do? Well, I was trying to soften the butter. It got away from me. I melted it. Did you ever she, have something get away from you? She really does know how to do that. <laughs> she's better at me, better than I am at melting butter, but we have, a, we have the setting on our microwave that helps with that. But you got a little carried Whoops. with. I was trying to multitask, and sometimes that doesn't work out so good for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Anyway, first true step would be to proof your yeast. Proof your yeast. Is it proofing? Hopefully. So that just means to dissolve it in water to make sure that it's active and that it's going to bubble because you don't want to mix all your ingredients in and have yeast that's no good. You can actually burn your yeast if your water's too hot or if your water's not hot enough, it won't rise. So it can be a total waste of all your ingredients. The packet says between 120 and 130 degrees. Our water is extremely hot coming right out of the faucet, so I just use that. And I decided I'm gonna make a half a batch of these because it makes a lot. So I've just got a fourth a cup of water, one package of yeast in here. Nice. Okay. Back in your room. Okay, we got some softened butter. So again, I'm cutting the recipe in half. So I'm gonna use a fourth a cup in the mixer. And then I'm gonna blend in. It's kind of hard when you break a recipe in half but we need some sugar, so I'm gonna do a fourth a cup and then an eighth of a cup, cause it's supposed to be three quarters, but that's half. Okay, I'm gonna blend that. How's your yeast? It's, I think it's coming. Sometimes it takes longer than I expect. We'll see, hopefully. And then I'm going to add two eggs. Beep beep. Best time to make these is when you've had leftover mashed potatoes. I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of mashed potatoes. A heaping quarter of a cup. Pop that in there, that gives it that potato flavor. I always thought it was weird, they're called potato buns, and there's really very little potato okay. in it. When you make the full batch, it's a half cup, but it's still not a lot. Okay, we did the eggs, sugar, mashed potatoes, butter, we're almost done. It's so easy. All right, I'm gonna. So pour easy, your wife could do it. My yeast looks like it's foaming. It's not super bubbly, but it's not a super huge amount. But I'm gonna put that in. Also going to add in. Let's see, three quarters cut in half. <laughs> Sometimes I just eyeball it. Okay, add a half a teaspoon of salt. The salt of muscon. <laughs> Whatever's left in there. So add an entire container of no. salt. 
Okay, you got that stirred up, and then it's gonna be three cups of flour. I don't sift or anything, I just dump it in. We'll get it going a little bit and gradually add each cup. You're a dumper. I'm a quick baker. I don't do, I don't. Candlestick maker. <laughs> I don't like to measure proper, you know. That takes too long. Midnight toker. Everything always works out. Don't Good try. So I just let my mixer do all the work and it's, <laughs> it takes a little arm strength. Um, and put it in a greased bowl in a warm spot. We're gonna put ours down by the fire. It's really that cold today. We still have a fire in the wood stove. And it should rise. Usually takes about an hour. I cover it and I also spray my, I cover it with saran wrap that I also spray with a little bit of, um, <laughs> what's this stuff called? Cooking spray. Cooking spray, cooking oil, um, just to keep it from drying out. And then also if it rises that high, it, it can stick and you can lose some of your dough. That's it, down by the fire it goes. So the dough has risen. Took a little longer than an hour, but looks like it's about doubled in size. Real puffy. I've greased my hands and I'm just gonna knead it a little bit. And then just form it into buns. Um, you wanna make them on the smaller side, because they're going to rise again. All right, they're all formed, and now I'm gonna put them back down by the fire for, hopefully it doesn't take as long. <laughs> Usually it's like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, we'll see. Till they're doubled in size. All right, the buns have risen a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. You bake them at 375 for like seven to eight minutes. You don't want them to get dark, just lightly golden brown. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, they look good. Perfect. Oh yum. I know it's gonna be hot. I was gonna show. Oh, it's hot. You can see just a little golden brown on the bottom they actually don't get a lot of color on the top perfect they will be delicious i'll have some butter maybe jelly the kids always like jelly on theirs i like them just plain but soup and potato bins for supper i hope you enjoyed and give it a try You are bad. Can I get you? A little bit? A little bit. Did you do that on purpose? You told me to. I'm on the counter. Had to get creative. I can get on the counter too. <laughs>